Hey everybody, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today we are going to go over a very, very integral part of Factorio. Smelting. Particularly smelting facilities such as the one I have here. Now, as you know, in Factorio, we bring raw iron and among other resources, and we cook them into, you know, for example, iron plates here, or copper plates, or stone brick. So in today's episode, we're going to kind of go over what I envision as a very good, easily upgradable um, smelting facility. So first off, what do we need? A lot of stone furnaces. Like, I mean a ton. Now, as some of you may or may not know, like I stated in the previous episode, I am a controls engineer. With that comes quite a bit of programming knowledge. So when I do stuff, I try to do it in, like, groups of two or powers of two. Um, it's just good programming. But before we get too far along here, I want to come down to this factory. A little sub-factory that my friend made. And these right here, these are electric furnaces. As you can see, they are much bigger than your average stone, your average stone furnace. They actually are three wide. They're a three by three, whereas your stone furnaces are a two by two. So please keep that in mind while I'm setting up this factory because there's going to be some very inconsistent spacing issues, inconsistent spacing between this test facility that I'm going to make for us and the rest of my factory. So let's pimp out a smelting facility. So like I said, smelting is going to be what supplies your factory with everything that you're going to need. So when I do a setup here, this is just for example, typically I would do a bring in, bring in resources, have, let's just say, an inserter pulling out, lead that down, have a belt off of that, and then continue, have the materials come out of that. Have the materials come out like that. There we go. Now I can English properly. And you'll kind of see that very prevalently over here in my, uh, for example, this iron, this iron facility that I have, which um, supplies for the entirety of my steel factory the steel portion of my factory. But these I kind of set up kind of um, shoddy before I realized the form size of an electric furnace. So we're basically gonna set one up here from scratch. Now typically for the most efficient, now keep in mind, this is burning coal. Coal isn't horribly efficient. So for this, I'm gonna recommend, I would usually recommend just going with an electric furnace. However, I am not that far in my factory, so we're just gonna set this up as best we can with stone. So for example, so let's just, God, I really did not plan out this episode very well. So I'm going to kind of show you what I would like to do with this. So as you know, a f electric furnace would take up a form size, and I can't believe I just ran out of, we'll just place down inserts for this example instead. Where steel furnaces would take up, steel and stone furnace would take up about this much space. An electric furnace takes up about this much space. So when we build, we're gonna try and plan so that you can upgrade to these electric furnaces without too much difficulty. I'm just gonna kinda leave this here as a reference point. So we would want a space and a space. I am actually using inserters. When you set it up, you're gonna want like two spaces in between when you upgrade to the next one. And then, like I said, when you upgrade to electric furnaces, there's also going to be the matter of it expanding, of it going down. Because remember, this is about the form size. This is the form size that this is going to take up. So you don't want to build your uh, belt like right here. That'll carry your resources. You want to extend it out one away from that. So what you do, an inserter picking out of here and placing down along this belt. Actually, I lied. I lied a little bit. You want it going down one more and then running along this belt. That way you have plenty of room to upgrade your factory or to update, upgrade to electric furnaces in a very smooth manner. Now then, let's talk about what is supplying these furnaces. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is pretty simple. Now I've seen many, many designs where, let me put this, where they only bring in 
two li two lines of material. Now, as you know, stone furnaces will require coal. So they'll do one with coal, and then they'll do one with iron, or copper, or stone, or, or other iron so you can make steel. I am vastly opposed to that. I prefer, so let's do an inserter putting into the stone furnace. I hate that. I do not like that design. What I prefer is I like to have one that's running iron or some other raw resource, the middle one running coal, and then another one running iron or whatever other resource. Now to reach that coal in the middle, we need a long-handed inserter so that it will supply us power to these. So when you're all done, it'll look pretty similar to, don't run out of long hand inserters, and of course I do. It'll look very similar to, if not exactly, let's throw that, throw that, 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 that. There we go. It'll look very similar to this. Now we just supply it with power, which again, fairly easy. Since you have this two wide gap here, getting power to everything should not be any issue. There we go. Let me, there we go. Now again, I prefer to do this with big electric poles, but again, we make do with what we got. Now it looks like a hodgepodge and a mess, but I unfortunately don't really, oh cool, I can make some medium electric poles at the very least. There we go, this will make, this will clean it up pretty nice. I prefer to, prefer to do it with medium electric poles, however, however you want to get power to it, that is your choice. Now we have pretty much, I'm just going to kind of shoddily wire this all up here. Okay, the, the wiring in this game is just driving me nuts. I hate this auto wiring. I hate the auto wiring that it does in this game. I know that's good enough. So now this all has power. So let's just bring up, we're just going to divert a line here. Yeah, bring this up. So when you bring in your iron, it should look pretty similar to that. Two lines of iron. So you're going to run out of iron. The way the why I do this is because you're going to run out of iron long before you even begin to tap into like your coal because you can get you can cook multiple pieces of iron off of one piece of coal, especially when you start using um, I, um, steel furnaces, because those are more efficient. So then I'll split off a little bit of coal here, just so you can kind of get the full effect, because why not? I have tons of time to kill in this episode. So then I know the question will probably pop up. How many furnaces do I recommend? I don't really have a number that I would, would or would not recommend to somebody. I probably just kind of messed this up a little bit, but oh well, we'll overcome here. No, we won't. This is going to be just like a hodgepodge of just really quick, shoddy. There, that should be enough room here. There we go. This is going to be a really shoddy hodgepodge of really bad, really bad. I will probably do an episode on proper laying down of of um, <laughs> these damn conveyor belts. This is not that episode. There we go. Now, I'll probably get the question, how many would I recommend? Well, how many do I have here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 30 is a pretty good amount. 30 actually is a very good amount. But if you have a huge factory like I do, you're very quickly going to um, really maximize out on these 30. If you want to do 32 on each side, that should equal 64. Again, I'm a programmer. I like 
programmable numbers. Powers of two are like my favorite numbers. So two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, uh, 128. Those are like those kinds of numbers I just love. But yes, this is a very basic example of how I would how I would set up in a, a very efficient um, smelting facility. But I can't make you guys do this. I can only lead the horse to the water, but I cannot make it drink. But this is what I would recommend. What the hell? Why do I have steel furnaces there? Irregardless. Um, if you guys have any more factorial demos that you would like to get me to give or any other tutorials or just like me to showcase what all I got here, please leave a comment in the description. Please leave a comment in the comic section, comic, the comic section below as everybody's funny on YouTube. And until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. <laughs>